Welcome, I'm Robert Stevenson and I live in the electorate of Boothby in South Australia but I'm not here to talk about my electorate and I'm not here to talk about direct politics. What I have noticed in Australian media so far in the last few months that we're not getting the full story or full picture of what is happening in our political sphere and in our society. At the moment we have an issue with the sitting government wanting to introduce a carbon tax on big polluters, which seems fair uh, if you consider this really affects perhaps 1,000 companies in the country. And these are from energy producing companies to uh, the steel industry. Realistically, that seems quite fair and reasonable. But with the introduction of a tax on big industry, there are going to be some flow-on effects down to uh, you, me, and every other working family in the country. And this will be through increased prices in our power supply, uh, our fuel supply, and even trickle-on effect into the food, dis food distribution and food supply. So how do we deal with this, uh, even though we are taxing the big end of town or the, the, the corporations, how do we deal with the pass on effect of these costs? Well the Labour government under Julia Gillard um, is forming a policy that would also see uh, revenue received from these taxes come back into the household uh, in the form of rebates or even cash payments that would help alleviate this flow on effect because of the tax. This would in essence uh, be quite reasonable and I accept that, that that's going to happen. Uh, the detail in the policy we don't know because this is still early stages and I'm prepared like many Australians are prepared to hear what uh, is going to be delivered when the policy is fully formulated and then it goes to political debate that's where we get all the bugs worked out. So at the moment I hear comments about no carbon tax and banners being waved and being waved by everyday people in the street and I find it a bit disconcerting in that we don't even know what this means and you're saying no. That's not a very logical position to take in anyone's um, thoughts or position in life. It's best for us just to wait, see what it is, then assess it as what the carbon tax will mean to each and every one of us in, in this country. Until then, try and find out as much as you can about the carbon tax. Try and find out as much as you can about what the opposition party in Australia might have. Think about uh, what it means to you and what it means to the future of the country. I for one am on the side of this carbon tax after much consideration. Not, not so much because I'm not going to be affected by the flow on costs. I, I am and I'm least, not in the greatest position to accept these costs. But I see the future for my family and my children and uh, in time their children in that we now are making a small difference that will result later in a very big difference to reduce emissions, to better our environment and to move to cleaner technologies. This is logical and reasonable and I accept that and I also accept that my generation and even the generations before have some responsibility in paying back a little of what we used and took for granted. But until then, don't run around with banners saying no to carbon tax without understanding what it means. Take your time, consider it all, see the information as it gets released, uh, see which businesses are coming online and think it's great, uh, maybe examine who is opposed to it all. Uh, but most of all, try and make yourself uh, more aware of what's happening in our country. So as to carbon tax, 
it's perhaps one of the better moves this country has made, in my opinion. You will have your own. Until next time, uh, I'm Robert Stevenson, and in the electorate of Boothby, and I'll ho hopefully as more information comes to hand, I'll create another video and we'll share some more of what is happening in the future of our politics that we may not get through the media. Um, until next time, thank you for listening and get educated.